Valve made a huge cheat for CS2 stop working for 8 days. We just had a huge ban wave that seems to have wrapped up by now, as CS Stats has shared some of their findings from the recent wave, tracking over 30,000 bans in a single day out of the 32 million players that they're tracking. Now, of course, these bans were to bots, but in terms of cheating, last week, Valve brought updates on the 22nd and the 23rd, which broke a bunch of cheats. Pretty much every single one was broken and then was forced to update. But one of them, which is extremely popular and is actually usually promoted at the top of the Counter-Strike leaderboards, didn't get fixed right away, making this statement saying that they're actively fixing the product and that they won't be available for the time being. Now, as all these cheaters were waiting for it to come back, this statement racked up over 35,000 dislikes in this group. This isn't just some public post on Twitter, this is just a private group. So that should maybe put in perspective how many people were actually using this cheat. As you'll notice on their forums, they have over 50,000 members. Now, I was originally going to talk about this in this video as it may be a reason that some of your games have less cheaters, but as I was getting this video ready, they unfortunately got up and running and made a new update. So even though the fire sale didn't come with bans to cheaters, it did break a bunch of the cheat programs and one of them was even broken for over a week. In my last video, we talked about how Valve took down bots, and now they receive Red Trust Factor. So will we see something similar where it'll take them a week to get back up and running, or will it maybe take them a lot longer? Now, on the topic of cheating, many in the CS community were upset after an announcement from CS Perfect World for the Shanghai schedule, where they said, We gladly announced that all RMRs for the Perfect World Counter-Strike 2 Shanghai Major 2024 will be held at LAN in Shanghai, China. And then they added on the timelines for the regions and how they will progress throughout the major. Which is where when we look at Europe for example, according to the official regional rankings, the highest ranked teams will advance directly to the RMR, while the second highest ranked teams will advance to the closed qualifier. Essentially removing the open qualifier stage for this region and also Americas, and instead are now just using Valve's official leaderboard. Now many notice this and are not happy so they quickly express their feelings, saying how they want open qualifiers back for Counter-Strike. The common narrative everyone is saying is since cheaters infested the Copenhagen open qualifiers, Valve removed the open qualifiers altogether. Which cheaters in the Copenhagen qualifiers is true, that actually happened and it was a huge problem with the kernel level anti-cheat, so much so that they even made a statement about it at the time. So although cheating is a big problem in online open qualifiers, this change was actually announced around a year ago at this point as it was in August before CS2 even officially released and the Copenhagen Major happened. So it actually has nothing to do with what happened with the Copenhagen open qualifiers in any recent cheating situation that we're experiencing. As what you'll notice in this post, Valve said back in August 2023, Invitations to all tournaments will use our ranking system or otherwise be determined by open qualifiers, which is essentially exactly what's going to be happening with Shanghai. Now, I definitely agree that the open qualifiers gave new teams a chance to shine and were a great part to majors, but I just want to make sure it's known that it's not like this change just came out of nowhere. There is a petition going on right now to bring back the open qualifiers, which as I'm making this video is about to hit their goal. So we can see where it goes and if Valve makes any changes to the system. But I can already guess that probably nothing will happen. Valve's statement they made last year was directed to hopefully make Counter-Strike a more open circuit. Which is why they added the new requirements to running the large scale competitive events. Now as well as all this though, we have talked a lot about the CS2 cache and all the changes so far to it. And today, FM Pwn has previewed new changes to the lighting, so it no longer has that orange yellow tint that many complained about, as this is a comparison of what it looked like before and now with today's changes. Where you also notice when you look in Garage, there is the new shipping container. I think the new lighting overall looks pretty nice. Now, Vova is also working on a clip feature similar to in game screenshots that are on Steam. And well, in the recent update for CS2, Valve actually added files for this, so we can probably expect it soon for Counter-Strike. Now, for more news about bans, Valve is back on a banning spree to expensive inventories, which some are already calculating the total worth to be over a million dollars today. Some are speculating that these are suppliers, but we really don't know because if they were, they probably wouldn't say so 
but if you haven't been paying attention at all, it is pretty clear that Valve is taking action from essentially all sides recently. We saw scam preventions on the Steam market, suspicious traders are now being hit, case farmers and boosting bots are essentially done for, and a huge cheap provider was down for a week, plus the VAC changes that we saw last month. Now, some of you have asked for more videos on Deadlock, but the reality is, is I've gotten access last week, so I can't really go over anything new. Just know that once Valve makes an announcement, I will go over all the feet that you need to know, which will be soon as they have just filed for trademarks. Watch this video to go over a new Steam lawsuit where they are being ordered to free some accounts.